And to make it personal for both of us, you don't spend five to seven years working on a piece unless it's personal. <laughs> That's true. Uh, it's hard enough as it is. Uh, John, uh, you have done uh, many movies, um, mostly American, um, nominated uh, for an Academy Award for Winter's Bone. Uh, wonderful body of work, um, I have to say. Um, that was not good. Elvar is a first-time director. Would, uh, why did you want to work with this guy? Well, I met uh, with he and uh, Yoni Sigvansson in Los Angeles, and I got along great with them, and I loved the script and the character of Frank. And um, I saw Elvar's short uh, film, Sailcloth, and was really impressed, and that was, that was enough. Um, uh, th there is this... Um I was wondering when I was watching it, especially in the beginning, I really admired how, how you, you bring this uh, vulnerability to, to the, 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 the character. Um, and, and, and without saying any words, you, you, uh, you uh, convey that so, so beautifully. Uh, how, how was the work between the two of you of... of, of bringing this uh, character to life because we know that uh, there's one thing that's on the page and then there's the other thing of actually doing it. We had a, a week to prepare ourselves uh, together before we started shooting and uh, we read through the script and what we did, I mean, we asked a lot of questions opposed to trying to, to, to find the answers there and then, uh, which we hopefully then answered in front of the camera. Um, we we try to look for a mutual emotional chord, of course, to to work from, uh, and then it was quite organic for me, at least. Um, on day two, when we were working together, I just felt there was uh, something that clicked, and and from that we we kind of built our relationship. Yeah, it's interesting. I um, you know uh, I. I, when I watch it, I I don't much like Frank in the beginning. Uh, he's uh, he he, and and I think that's okay as an audience member because I think if you stay with him and if you learn someone's story, you you figure out why they are how they are, and maybe you uh, can relate to them that way. But I mean, there's something about him that's so rigid and so frustratingly weak in a way. Uh, I was fighting against that, honestly. Uh, I said to Elvar, I don't want to nerd, nerd him out too much or make him too, you know, dweeby, if, if that word makes sense in Icelandic. But uh, so it's interesting to watch it now and think, you know, uh, 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 Sean, uh, Logan Lerman, is to me the way more interesting character in the, in the beginning. And uh, it's nice that Frank kind of catches up to him along the way, I think. You know, the badass is always the one that we uh, want to pay attention to. And kind of just, just like she, uh, like Jewel says, uh, uh, you know, Frank's worry is that, you know, he, his wife uh, fucked around with, on so, with, with someone else on it because he was nerdy. Um, uh, and, and, you know, she says it's the good ones you, you, you end up staying with. You take the motorcycle ride with the rebel, but you stay with the good ones. And... And uh, hopefully that kind of comes through as you as you uh, you know take take uh, the the journey of uh, of the three of them along the road, yeah. And the other thing that we we decided we did sentimentalism is, is isn't something we wanted to do. You know, you don't want to push it too hard. It's a very fine line between saccharine sweet and and something real, and that was important to us. So should you suppose? <laughs> Um, how about the sort of um, actual, you know, the nuts and bolts of, of, of the filmmaking, the, the financing and stuff? Like, you know, you, you're approaching John where you're already financed. Uh, this is something especially filmmakers want to, to know. Uh, <laughs> where do you get the money? That tipped the scale, of course, when you get someone of, of John's caliber, it, 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 it ties the knot. We were halfway there. 
then we, we secured um, the rest of the finance and, and, and got things going. And by the way, I just want to say beautiful, P Peter's beautiful song at the end. <laughs> that really made me cry. <laughs> he sang it. And, and another note on the music, Sarah Bolger sang that live in the room. No dubbing whatsoever. It was just recorded on the day. She's not here. You can still clap. Um, I under and then there's Oliver Tarri Olafsson, of course, in, in, in the movie. <laughs> why, why is he there? Because he's a mutual friend of ours. <laughs> and he came to do a cameo. Of course, he had to do a cameo. Mm. And it, it was by choice that his, his costume was just a tiny bit too small. <laughs> But don't tell him that he's not here. Um, but uh, didn't you shoot some in Canada? Or was it the States and Ireland? It was, it was Ireland. And then uh, we shot in, in and around LA, pretending to be in Alabama. It was a, a, a derelict prison there that's used mainly for uh, film shoots mm. that we got access to. And then, yeah, in, in and around LA. Um, should we take one question from the audience or, or two? Um, anyone? Anyone? No one? No? No? That's Iceland for it's you. Iceland. It's Iceland. After two or three drinks, you, know, <laughs> you get loads of questions. Uh, I'm shy too. I wouldn't ask a question if I was you. <laughs> Why don't you ask them a question? All right. Um, oh, where are you from? Uh, oh, <laughs> there is one. Hello, hello, hello. What was the um, total duration to film the movie? 26 days. You shot it in 26 days? Yes. Mm, impressive. 26 days? Yes? And never in the same bloody location. <laughs> <laughs> you just turned the camera around. We just ran. Yeah, you just ran. Um, uh, last question, uh, maybe uh, to... John, first, um, would you do another Irish Icelandic movie? <laughs> I, s I would, yeah. Uh, th this I've only been here for less than 48 hours, but I, I, I love it here. Uh, I, I thought I would. I've met a lot of, of Icelandic people along the way. I did a, a film with uh, Balthazar, Cormac uh, Kor, and and uh, several amazing Icelandic actors in that piece. And I loved Ireland. That was a really, really wonderful country. Um, so yes, sign me up. Um, Elvar, what is your next project? It's Sömali also so came in by Jon Kalman Stevenson. That's been in development for quite a few years, uh, supported by the Icelandic Film Center. So we, we're busy with raising the money for the, finishing the finances for that, and uh, hopefully the cameras will roll um, next summer. Okay, um, no other questions. I uh, just want to thank you two gentlemen, and uh, are you coming to the party? Yes. Uh, All right. Yes. Are you, are you going to sing a song? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, but thank you uh, so much uh, for staying. That was really cool. Talk. Thank you, Peter.